Dear black man, we got to grow up. We got to grow up. We suffer from arrested development. And it's because we don't want to grow up. We are reluctant to grow up. We are reluctant to take the responsibility to be who God said we were. Dear black man, we gotta grow up. If we don't wanna be who we're supposed to be, then who are we being? If we don't wanna be who we're supposed to be, then who are we being? I see it all the time. You see, we struggle with identity. That is our struggle. We don't know who we are. But we struggle with it worse because we don't know who we are and we don't want to be who we're supposed to be. This is why we are getting the results that we are getting. This is why it's hard for us to lead our communities. This is why. It's because we don't want to grow up. We don't want to be mature. We don't want to be responsible. We don't want to respond to our abilities. We don't want to be accountable. We don't want to grow up. And when it comes to these women, don't get me started. How are you going to lead a woman when you don't want to be who you are supposed to be? Think about that. How are you going to lead the woman when you don't want to be who you are supposed to be. But you will be somebody you're not supposed to be. So in other words, you're trying to trick the woman. You're trying to trick her. You're an imposter at that point. You are an imposter at that point. And I see it all the time. I see these women out here cutting up. And the first thing I say is, somewhere along in her life, somewhere along that path, she was misled. She was misled. I know this. There was a man somewhere that lied to her. There was a man somewhere that told her he was a father, he was a brother, he was a friend, he was a lover, he was a husband, he was a boyfriend, he was a fiance. There was somebody along the way that lied to her. And I'm going to tell you now, when it comes to these women, that first impression of the man, that first man, that first impression of that first man they actually care for and admire and respect, if he's not right, it's going to be an uphill battle for the rest of her life. She will be chasing what she thought a man should be from then on. And that pain and that hurt and those scars, she's going to carry. That's why it's so important for that first man to interact with her to be a good man, preferably her father. But if the father's not there, or if the father is there and he's jugging, she's gonna be damaged from the jump. I see it all the time. Most of these women out here that we think are cutting up from daddy issues is because that first man they came in contact with wasn't a good man. Here goes the kicker. A lot of them never even met the first man. So that means the second man was, was her first man. And the second man was terrible. And then we start a downward spiral, but an uphill battle. Dear black man, we had to grow up. We have to grow up. And that's the problem. We don't want to grow up. We don't want to be who we are supposed to be. We do not want to be who we are supposed to be. But we love being who they want us to be. We can't lead our community not being who we are. Where are the black empires? Where are the black empires? Harlem was started by black people. Harlem was the first middle class started by black people. 
That means it should have been a Harlem or Harlems all over the United States. There should have been Harlems everywhere. We had Black Wall Street. They bombed it. They attacked us. They waged war against us. Where was the second Black Wall Street? Where was the third? You know why? Because we, black man, did not want to be who God said we were. We didn't want to be. And so what we did was we were what they wanted us to be. And most of the time, that is very tame. And most of the time, that is conforming. And most of the time, that is playing by their rules. And most of the time, that is not being able to lead our people. All these successful black men with all this money right now, and where are the black empires? Where are the black skyscrapers? Where are the black metropolises? Where? You know why? Because we're running around trying to be successful instead of running around being who God said we were. And that's greatness in the flesh. What good is an accomplishment if it cannot elevate your people? What good is success if it cannot elevate your people? If you are up and your people are down, you are still down. Dear black man, we got to grow up. Dear black man, we have to grow up. And all this stuff is connected. Who they want us to be has been to our detriment. Who we are has been to our demise. We must become who we were, who we were supposed to be, who we were intended to be. And that's greatness in the flesh. That is having the God gene inside of us. That is putting others before you. That is being honorable. That is knowing that it's not about you. Dear black man, it's not about you. It's never going to be about you. Once you become a man, it's not going to be about you. It's going to be about your family. It's going to be about your woman. It's going to be about your children. It's going to be about your community. But it will not be about you. It will, about, it will be about you making the world a better place. But how can we make the world a better place if we aren't our authentic selves? They lied to us. They lied to us and we believed them. They lied to us and we believed them. Dear black man, we have to grow up. We must be who God intended us to be. And I don't care what religion you believe in. I don't really care at this point because it doesn't matter. Whatever religion we believed in hasn't worked. So it doesn't even matter what religion you believe in. I'm telling you, you need to be who God said you were. You need to be who God said you were. And once you realize who you're supposed to be, then you can actually have a relationship with God. You all claiming you're used by God. You all claiming you're spiritual. You all claiming that you're doing the Lord's will. How? You all think God is going to save us? You all honestly think God is going to save us? Why would God save us? What have we done to prove that we are worth saving? Help me out. What have we done to prove we are worth saving? Honestly, God gives us all these gifts, all these talents, all this power that we are literally born with. We are literally born with it. And what do we do with it? We squander it. We squander it. We sell our birthright for cheap. We sell our birthright to be something that will destroy our people. Come on, man. When have we proved we are worth saving? When have we proved that we are worth God saving us? We have not. Think God's going to save us? For what reason? God's like, I don't even recognize you all. Who are you? 
God doesn't even recognize us. Even if God did want to save us, he wouldn't know who to save because he can't find us. You know why he can't find us? Because we're running from who God made us to be. Dear black man, we got to grow up. Enough is enough. I'm telling you all right now, we are not going to make it. We are still in bondage. So get this freedom thing out of your head. We are still in bondage. And the only way to free ourselves is to be who God said we were. We want God to move, but we don't want to be who we are. Not how that works. Dear black man, we got to grow up. We got to account for our abilities. We got to be responsible for our abilities. We have to lead our people. This is our task. We have to grow up. Dear black man, we have to grow up and stop being cowards. Really, that's what it boils down to. We're cowardly. We are cowards. The exterior seems strong and tough, but really we're weak and cowardly. You know how I can tell? Because all these great, prominent black men all these successful black men, all this money being made, all these achievements and accomplishments, and we have not built one empire. We have not built one empire. And what does that tell me? That tells me we never planned. Think about this. We never planned to have a kingdom. We never planned to build a nation. What we wanted to do was feel good. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to feel good. We didn't want to free a nation. We didn't want to build, build a nation. We wanted to feel good. And it shows because we have nothing. We don't make cars. We don't actually make any cars. Think about that. The Japanese made cars. I think the Chinese made cars. Italians made cars, Germans, whites. We don't make any cars. Think about that. You know why? We never planned to have an empire. We never planned to have a kingdom. Cowardly. We wanted to feel good. We wanted to be liked. We wanted to be accepted. All signs of immaturity. Dear black man, we got to grow up to be continued. Wait for it. Free Blanche. Get money.